Right, so apparently they updated the last Bastion. I think it's just two new maps that were scheduled to release, but that's pretty much it, I think. I'm not totally sure if anyone plays it even, <laughs> so don't think I'm gonna be able to connect with anyone. Five minutes later. Yeah, eh, uh, no. <laughs> even so, I couldn't like speak with people because my mic is muted right now. So let's do the solo. Yeah, we have two additional maps that were not unlocked. They actually look way better than the cathedral, so that might be a little bit exciting. I'm gonna do like one wave each. Just to see how to move around and stuff like that. We already know Last Bastion is like this wave shooting mode that incoming enemies, weapons, ammo, stuff like that. Nothing groundbreaking. I'm more interested in the environments to be honest. Whoa! It actually looks pretty fun, especially like here in the background. It's like you can see the cathedral or something, I don't know, but like in the distance. And the cannon, yeah, that's a very fun environment. So, where can we move actually? Or is this like a little outpost and that's it? Yeah, I think, yeah. I don't know why they do the decisions like that. I would love to go like out there and just like move around and kill stuff. Not just to be like a mobile tourist shooting at targets, like that's boring to me. Camping was exciting because you could like travel and discover things but it is like a multiplayer or whatever but still come on I must say from the last time I played the graphics are way better it's very clear in textures Somehow. Was it like a long time I didn't play this actually? Oh, I'm dying. Shit. <laughs> Don't jump. Like the effects and just kind of like lightning stuff seems way better than I remember somehow it kind of sucks that I did the whole campaign with no quest to upgrade with nothing when it first released like my whole experience with this game is like downgraded because I did it too early and they polished out things few months after the actual release like that kind of sucks you know I'm not gonna play it the second time just to kind of change my mind about the game let's see the next level Whoa, that looks fun as well. Where I can move? I can climb down as well? Okay, see? That's what I'm talking about, just climbing and stuff. I think I can go down as well. Okay, it's not like a huge area to go. There were like stars here, but not for me. <laughs> I don't know where they oh, are coming from. There's a lot of directions. Sound effects are kind of ah, mixed. I think they fixed the accuracy because I could do the whole campaign with one handed. Now I'm kind of like forced. Hey. <laughs> So that's cool. Are we done? Headshot. <laughs> yeah, clean and laser to the mouth. Someone's walking. I swear sometimes the sounds here are so Give me that, Thank you. <laughs> Hello? Ooh, 
Where? What? Down? Okay, sure. So in the outpost, you're very much limited in movement here. I think it's like the biggest area that you can actually travel. And cathedral is like in the middle. Still, looks cool, like looking at the distance and just stuff. I don't know where it is. I don't think it's like the part of the campaign, those levels. I mean, I don't think. I'm sure it's not. <laughs> so yeah, that's probably it. I feel like after this update, nothing will come because there's nothing like to add or just bring something fresh to the table. Unless like new chapter or campaign, but I'm very scared skeptical that they're gonna go for it. You know, my journey with this game is just very hectic. Maybe in this state now it's fine and all, but when I did my original playthrough it was just rough around the edges and that's just how my opinion formed. It's cool that it got updated after a while, but you know, I'm not gonna wait for a game to update after half year to be like playable or enjoyable. Like, no, that's probably the end of the journey altogether. <laughs>